you'll please bear with us. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Bullshit! Bullshit! Anti-Afro Spengalis. I had to play that clip because I wanted to let you know something. Actually, that applies to let me see your hand because you remember the last video she did when she was trying to pull the fat pass and the mental health pass and the medication pass and I lost my parents pass and all those bullshit passes she was trying to play because she got cold busted and jacked up by King World and his crew. When she started to pretend to cry, she played the technical difficulties role and went off camera because she wasn't even crying. So how does it apply to this video? It applies to this video because I'm gonna play a few clips and there might be some breaks in the audio, but I don't think the breaks are when people are speaking. And I believe one of the people on the panel or the person doing most of the talking, the connection was kind of off, but the words are still gonna be clear. I'm going to come back and tell you what's going on. So stay tuned and I will return. Burn your ass and after I finish kicking the fuck out of your ass, I'm going to sue the Holy Ghost out your motherfucking ass for coming for a person with disability. I'm going to fuck your whole shit up, my nigga. Let's spend God and them gas your ass up to do the fuck shit. You know, this nigga was on the goddamn panel. I, I hope you on I forty, my nigga. I I hope you on I forty, my nigga. Come on, you hurt. My, I, I hope. Ain't you hurt right I now? Hope, I hope. I hope. Ain't I you hope, hurt, nigga? Hope, Ain't you hurt, nigga. bitch, nigga? I hope, nigga. I Why hope is you, you coming in my sector, nigga? nigga? You don't belong over here, bitch, nigga. Get me out of the Take your bitch drunk nigga. ass on, nigga. nigga Why is you worried about what's going on in our sector, nigga? You was a part of sucking Umar Johnson dick. I know you want to suck his dick, bro. I thought it would. Ain't you getting out of character? Ain't you getting out of character? I thought you was a good Christian man. What you mean? I nigga, thought you, you oh, you a gangster. Work, I got you, boy. <laughs> I pull up, nigga. I pull up. I ain't no bitch like you. You don't never pull up to my shit, nigga. You a bitch. I pull up, nigga, to your shit, nigga. And clowning you on your own show. Why is you dick sucking me now? Because Umar Johnson cash out some drama. Stop talking about dicks, nigga. You gay ass nigga. I'm heterosexual, bitch, nigga. The fuck off of me with that gay shit, nigga. You supposed to be on I-40, nigga. The real people I'm bringing the attention to, and that is anti-Afro Sengali and Reb G. I have told you start Stargate, and now I'm telling you guys. I'm telling the, I'm talking to the, to the audience, Stargate. I'm just being real. So now I'm telling you guys. I'm telling y'all. If you rock with her, I question why. Because when it comes to when folks are even thought about being, oh, you threatened me. You said you wanted to do sexual things with me. Oh, you you threatened my sexual orientation. I, it, it's got to go. We, we need to notify your employer. They need to know what type of person works for them. They need to know that public servants really are rolled out here. Okay, so what, what what's... What is this about that my life was threatened yesterday and all the people that associate themselves with him and y'all? It's got to be an even playing field. And I'm bringing attention to that shit. And the so people that understand what I'm saying is going to rock with it. And people like you are going to say, oh, you mad at us? You think too much of yourself when you come to that. I question you. No, I question you, Stargate. I'm mad at you. I question you, and I'm mad at them. That's all it is. It ain't no more and no less. If you rock with them, I question you, Stargate. That's 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 all it is. And you got to tell the people. You need to tell the people. That's all I'm saying. That's all. That's all you got to do. Explain to these folks why. That type of behavior is okay. Why would you back that type of behavior? My life was written yesterday, Did Stargate. I, say, I don't know if you care or not. It seems like you don't. It seems like you don't care, man. It seems like you don't care. And that is a damn shame. Right before Christmas. Merry Wicked Christmas, nigga. This is the second. You would sit back and support 
And just like anti Afro Singali made a video about, you openly support this type of behavior. And you I are trying to behavior. argue me down about it. That's Proof what makes it even more fucked up. I don't understand this about y'all. Y'all all need some help. I Do recommend it. I this is crazy behavior. shit. I recommend therapy. I go to therapy. They let me know, hey, speak how you feel to these folks and anybody try to come at you in any type of way understand you are a person of disabilities and you are protected under certain laws and that nigga he threatened my life yesterday he live in the same state as I do two hours away I don't know if that nigga really gonna pull up I know anti-Afro Singali got my address and I know she associates with him and I don't know if she gave him the address but if something happened to me all the motherfuckers that's linked to them it's linked to that shit I'm gonna call it for what it is I'm tired of this bullshit around here you, if I'm not speaking on you you shouldn't speak on me you just said that you you support anti-Afro Singali. You just said that you will continue to build a bridge with anti-Afro Singali. You know anti-Afro Singali wants me dead by way of Remix's live stream because she's in the live chat with Real G while my life is being threatened. So you support the death threats of other content creators. Why would I want to be wow. associated with somebody yeah. who supports the support death, death of other content creators? I you support, support the death, death by way of chats and videos. That's death. dangerous to me. And your newfound friend Stargate supports that shit. Fuck all y'all. I don't give a good goddamn. I want to say something before I go in with the main commentary. I've noticed Stargate that you have been the target for guilt tripping over the last several months. It always seems to crop up people demanding you do something counter to what you've decided or your expressed wishes. The question that I have, what are you going to get in return if you acquiesce to these subjects up here in these YouTube streets laying a guilt trip on you? This is the same thing that's happening here in this video. You have the grumpy monkey calling Stargate all kinds of bitches, questioning her intelligence, labeling her as a silly mother goose type, whatever insult he leveled. The tone is completely debasing and disrespectful, screaming at her like she's a child. Then the nerve to turn around and say, I don't think you care about me. They're threatening my life. And that's a shame. It's Christmas. I don't think he cares, Stargate. What? Somebody hollering and screaming at you, calling you a bitch, then turning around and demanding that you care about them, that you do what? And they want to dictate to you who you decide to have collaborative relationships with or build bridges with. And this person is weighing in as if he has a right to make decisions for a grown ass woman. And even more of an insult, professing to know what's going on in Stargate's personal life as to make a declaration to say she's single. These are the same standard insults coming from Grumpy Monkey, always directing this degree of rancor and disrespect, yelling and screaming, calling women bitches, and then turn around and expect the women to do what? Yes, Massa, whatever you say. What is this black slavery? He's running a plantation over there and he's pissed off because Stargate doesn't want to go join or even worse, doesn't want to bow down when he comes over to a neutral space. Bow down to him in a neutral space while he's up here hollering and screaming about Stargate bowing down to me, AAS. Did you hear the tone? That is the tone of someone who's expecting someone to bow down. This grumpy monkey is up here trying to tell you what you didn't hear, what you didn't see with your own eyes if you're looking at the screen during that live stream. It is absolutely amazing. I just wanted to mention this because this is the MO. To barrage you with these expectations and insults. Try to lay the heavy guilt that you should be accepting whatever the hell this grumpy monkey decides to say, and then it's supposed to be business as usual. Well, 
as we saw the frustration level continue to grow because people were not cooperating. I have the go for broke up here, and this is what I wanted to convey. Coming in to a scene where he said minimal engagement across the board with people who have been here, he's gonna come in here with these demands. They're nonsensical. And he's got no leverage, no clout, no backup, no one to vouch for him. I was talking to a grown man about this, like in the comment section about prisons. You're in prison. You can't just get what you want because the prisoners run the damn prisons. I don't care what anybody says. You can't get what you want just by dealing with your own group or gang or whatever you want to say. You're going to have to deal with people you don't have necessarily great relationships with, and you're not going to get anywhere screaming at them. You need to make deals who with people you don't ordinarily like to engage with, but you're not going to get shit coming in there, hollering and screaming. And this is what he did. Didn't even take the time to build any relationship except for those who are known for engaging in the most atrocious of acts here in these YouTube streets. I'm not going to mention names, but he's got folks on his channel who are dropping people's parents' names, spouses' names, people's full names. And he's up here acting like a victim himself when he is upholding that conduct in that plantation he has over there. One of the few dudes that are over there, one of the few losers that are over there is up there dropping people's personal information in his chat. He thinks that's cute and funny. It's not cute and funny. You don't have any credibility to sit here and cry and whine about being a victim and then lying and saying that I gave Remix his address because that's what he's doing over there on that plantation. He's allowing that to happen. People's personal information, playing Rev G's daughter, who was a minor, playing her voice on his channel. And he wants to turn around and act like, we're the ones that are doing something. And he keeps making up lies. I mean, people, this is appalling. Don't think for a second that people are going to be quiet and sit back and just let him say what he's going to say. All the lies he wants to spread and keep saying stuff like Remix is my best friend. What are you jealous? So what if Remix is my best friend? What the hell are you going to do about that? What are you going to do if Remix is my best friend? What? I want to expand on the word jealousy or jealous, because this is the situation. This is the scenario. Once you leave that plantation, that pull up scheme, deceit show plantation, the misogyny plantation, and you go off and you enjoy yourself in other spaces, this is what angers grumpy monkey. This is when he ran up on that one freak's panel. He was drunk as a skunk, screaming and hollering about remix that I'm telling Remix what to do. Remix is my new best friend. Everything he says and does, it's through my command. He knew that Remix would not like statements like that. And his goal is to have Remix, what he said, boot me from his space to say, this is too much trouble. I don't want to deal with this fool saying that a woman's running me. That's exactly why he says it. And he says it about every other man in these YouTube streets that I have a positive engagement with. Standard, decent conversations that I have every day of my life with men, but he wants to make a major production out of it and wants you to think I'm the only person sitting up and remix his chat because he doesn't want anybody to enjoy life after they leave his plantation. That's his mindset. Same thing with Mona. He didn't like the fact that Mona was coming over to AS page, leaving messages. He treated Mona like shit and forgot or probably never cared because he was only interested in instant gratification as far as what he needs. Mona is pre YouTube. Go over to the community wall and read up on Mona De Leon. Mona De Leon is not new to this YouTube space or to Umar Johnson content. I encourage you to read the community wall. So the whole situation about Mona participating on this page, things never changed. He's been here from the very start. You're talking about grumpy monkey who is all about the instant gratification. I'm demanding 
that you do what I say right now. Either you pick AAS or you pick me. What kind of crap is that? Let me tell you what kind of crap it is. That is not the first time I've been made aware that people have held meetings, whatever you want to call it, Zoom meetings, and placing people in corners and shaming them for rocking with me and saying, you are going to choose either us or me, however you want to put it, or AAS. That's some pitiful shit. That means you have no freaking life that you're putting all your emphasis on who is rocking with who on freaking YouTube. You are losers. No self-respecting person is going to bow down to that kind of shit. You talk about bowing down, that's slave plantation bullshit. But these are the things that these demons are doing. Yes, demons including grumpy monkey who expects people to do exactly what he says. But I can't seem to figure out what the hell are you going to get out of that? Because he doesn't speak up for anybody. He doesn't support anybody. He just makes these unreasonable, nonsensical demands and expects everybody to see him how he wants you to see him. The leader of the Umar Johnson sector, the originator of the Umar Johnson sector, the person who started out playing music at the beginning of channels, on and on and on and on, but he doesn't tell you about he's a backstabber and he's a liar. What I wanted to say about this whole tirade that you just heard, you saw the dates, December 23rd, December 24th, how these comments came. And if you notice the disposition of Grumpy Monkey on the 23rd was quite different. Then we have on December 24th, December 24th, he's a victim. December 23rd, he's ready to throw down. He's threatening to kick ass. Can't seem to make up his mind. But let me say something that is perhaps the most appalling overall. When you sit here and you listen to what Grumpy Monkey stated, long before December 23rd and 24th, when I say long before, let's say within the same year, all throughout 2022, Grumpy Monkey escalated. And what do I mean by escalating? Grumpy Monkey continued to show up in spaces. And when there was the most threatening, the most vile, the most offensive rhetoric being spewed about me and Rev G, Grumpy Monkey was there to make sure he was seen that his presence was known. He knew he was going to be seen. Grumpy Monkey was up here applauding and thumbing up, agreeing with, going along and supporting content, videos, live streams, where guess what was going down? Me and Rev G were threatened with life ending violence. I was threatened with sexual degradation. I was threatened with rape. And guess who thumbed up and applauded those videos? It was Grumpy Monkey. Rev G was threatened with pistol whipping. Rev G was threatened to have a pistol shoved in his mouth, being brought down to his knees. And I was going to be forced to watch. And he was gonna be run over by a van. This is what Dumble Ding Dong said. And Grumpy Monkey was right there, thumbing up, applauding, supporting, laughing at these videos. And let me make sure, I don't want to leave out Miss Fat Pass, let me see your handcuffs, was also laughing at the sexual degradation videos and the threats of rape. She was there. I have the screenshots. We have the screenshots for all of what I'm stating. You made the statements in terms of support and thumbing up and applauding. But how do we have it here that he is thinking the cavalry should be called? He can sit here throughout the year in an escalating mode, applaud these statements about us, but what kind of special pass is he supposed to be getting because he got the bad end of a verbal dispute with Remix? And what Grumpy Monkey tries even harder to do because he knows he has no legs to stand on in terms of me and Rev G ever having done anything to him, ever. So he's trying to play the ex post facto 
role by claiming we've done this and that, making up these atrocities that we supposedly perpetrated against him. And they're all lies because he's trying to show he has justification for what he's doing here and now. There is no justification for what he's doing. He basically decided to stab people in the back who were supporting him, who provided him content, who provided him assistance, who provided him information to help boost his channel. He decided when they were actively supporting him on his platform, he was the one who decided to stab us in the back. And we are not the only ones. That is trash ass behavior that is immoral, that is reprehensible, is underbelly low class about Grumpy Monkey. He gets off on it. He gets off on you thinking that he's with you, he's on your side, and he relishes in being able to surprise you with the backstabbing move. But this is what I say about this. Those character traits are self-destructive because they don't get you anywhere. All they get you is in the circumstance that you see now. You have Grumpy Monkey running around here trying to convince people that me and Remix are in some sort of conspiracy. He has nothing he could say about me that justified his conduct towards me. And this went on people for about nine months when he progressively became more disrespectful and people became more and more angry about what the hell is up with this dude. Here's the bottom line. People who act like this, they're not used to being treated well. They don't trust it. So the better you treat them, the more disrespectful and the more disdain that they show for you because they don't really think they're worth being treated with respect and decency. They believe they are not worthy, but thank you very much. We moved on. We don't need this kind of garbage. We don't need somebody to stab us in the back. We have plenty of other options of people who would never even think about stabbing us in the back, but it got worse when we left and we left quietly. We're gone. We don't have anything else we need to say about the situation. It was grumpy monkey who started escalating because he was pissed about the spaces we were going to about the people we were talking to, as if it's any of his concern, he would come up here and say, oh, we're moving on. It wasn't even a month when he ran his sneak panels on us. He ran the sneak panels on us. In 2021, I believe it was December, early December, he said he was moving on, 2021. By early January, and I possibly, oh no, you know what? It was late December, early January, he started running those sneak panels on us, talking all kinds of shit about us. We had no engagement with him. He was angry and making comments and references about where we were going and who we were talking to. Wait a minute. Your world is supposed to be so much better without us. So for what reason would somebody sit here and charge people? What is it? Four ninety nine or five ninety nine? He keeps raising the price to hear him rage and rail and scream and holler about me and Rev G on sneak panels. This person is never satisfied and it's not our responsibility to provide him with satisfaction, but there's one thing that is not going to happen. You're not going to sit over there and run your mouth about us and we're going to be quiet about it. We are going to speak up when we want to speak up. You're not going to tell us what we're going to say, when we're going to say it and how we're going to say it. And I get what he tries to do. He tries to bring in other people in effort to try and isolate us, hoping they will get so fed up, they will try to ostracize us. He's running a misogynistic plantation over there. The people are not happy. They're essentially entrapped. He's threatening them on a daily basis. Every time he opens his mouth about being unhappy with whoever, me, Rev G, and now Mona's thrown into the mix. He starts letting people know what he's going to do to them should they ever decide to leave. And I said this in the last video and I'll keep saying it. This is a person, let's make it very clear. This is a person who started attacking people who were supporting him, actively supporting him on his channel. He is the one with the problem. We do not have to shut up. We can say whatever the hell we want about you. God knows he has told plenty of lies about us. 
we have every right and we will continue to speak the truth. So I want to make sure I cut this video off because I have more I want to say, but I'm going to pick it up on another video. In the meantime, you know the drill. Buyer beware.